Hi everyone, my name's Sophie and I'm the Lead Marketing Officer at Creative Arts East. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about how I came into this role, what I did in the lead up to it and what I've kind of learned along the way. Um, it might be helpful for you guys um, working on your placements now. So just to go back in time a little bit, when I first started out, I was studying illustration at university. And after that, I, I knew that I wanted to graduate and do something creative. But I didn't want to be a freelance illustrator. And to be honest, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just wanted to get my foot in the door um, in the creative sector. But easier said than done, isn't it? Because I, even now, it's still difficult and it was at the time. So I was doing a bit of volunteering, which was really useful, actually, because I was able to kind of see what I liked to do, what I didn't like. And through the volunteering, I just happened to hear about this paid internship um, and it was for a project support worker role which you know I didn't really know what that was but I knew it was in a creative organization and I wanted the experience um, so I went for it I was successful in the role in getting it and immediately thrown into a world that I didn't really understand the arts and culture sector what does that even mean so I was learning that all of these different elements were under that bracket, you know, theatre, dance, music. I didn't really understand that. Um, so I've been learning about the whole sector. And then on top of that, I didn't know how to work in an office. I didn't know how to use a phone. Right. You know, how do you write a proper email? I didn't know. So that was absolutely invaluable. So from there on, I managed to um, successfully you know, continue on. I had a kept on a job at Creative Arts East. From there, I've gone through all the stages of working on projects, working as an assistant, and I slowly came full circle to working on design again, which was what I'd set out in the first place. That's my area of interest. That's really where my skill set lies. Um, so I've been fortunate enough to work on design and marketing and and now, you know, having worked on on areas that aren't my, they weren't my strong suit, but I was basically building up knowledge of the sector, the whole, you know, I've been in this role, well, I've been in this, working at Creative Arts East for seven years. So I've just been building up my knowledge of the sector, understanding the terminology, the slang, I would always sit in meetings, not really know what anyone's talking about when I first started, but you've just got to ask people, what does that mean? You know, what, what's, what's this project? Who's that? Who's that person? You know, people, your colleagues will not really realise that you don't know those things, you know, so you have to speak up and ask and ultimately it helps you, helps you understand more. So that's really important and, and, and just have no fear, you know, you're here to enjoy yourself, you're here to build up knowledge, learn and, and have fun. So that, that really is the most important thing. Just, just have fun with it and yeah, enjoy.